Manuel Labour Party has expressed confidence in winning the general elections. The leadership of the party said the world will be shocked at the massive votes the party will garner as it aims or its aim is to change the political narratives of Nigeria's democratic system. Plus TV correspondent Habila Dorofai's report is presented for Mouse Studios. The political game is taking center stage with politicians, parties, and supporters yearning for a positive change. Please, can we put our hands together for the peace of this country? This penalty kick brings together all candidates vying for different positions with medals presented to them after the game. Yeah. <laughs> the Kaduna State Chairman of the Labour Party, Awal Tarfoki, says the party, without any doubt, will not only win the presidential election, but all others. You know, shocking. We are going to shock the so-called major parties. They will be shocked to the Amaru. Come out and mass and vote for Labour Party for positive change. In Kaduna State, the PCC, the party, the support group, whatever group we can think of, they are here. And that is the unity that we have been praying and we have gotten it. Convener of the event, who is the coordinator of the Presidential Committee Council team for Peter Obi, Solomon Dambaki, says the present administration lambasted the APC and PDP for failing Nigerians. He and others urged eligible voters to get their PVCs. We are the only party that is increasing in number on a daily basis, in fact on an hourly basis, because more and more people are getting... Uh, to come to terms with the reality that the old wine in the old bottle cannot solve the problem. Rather, it will give us stomach ache. So everybody is now looking for a new wine in a new bottle, and that is Peter Obi in Labour Party. The ruling party has made it very easy for us because they are very generous in failure. The failure has touched both religion and region. So it is very glaring that they cannot deliver, they cannot solve the problem that they created. As long as there is hardship in the country, as long as things is not working right, the youth will continue to glamour for change. Our party is a party that has to do with humanity. If you check our ideology, the party ideology is the one that is consigned with the welfare of the people. And with all the disunity, the chaos, the insecurity in the country, when the Labour Party comes into power, one of our greatest priorities is to ensure that there is peace in the country. 100% sure that we are going to shake Nigeria. We are going to surprise Nigerians. Yeah, there is a lot of hardship. And in Labour Party, we come with hope and genuine hope. Because uh, the Labour Party movement you are seeing is driven by young people who are tired of what is happening in the country and they need a change, a positive change. And this is what we are bringing. And the party is insisting on making a big difference in governance with its priority on ending insecurity, tackling disunity and chaos, and addressing economic loopholes created by bad leadership. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.